Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neymar here, and welcome to another episode of Limbus Company. And it is time to finally do the Act 3 dungeon. And then we're gonna go to the Act 4. Well, mm, here and here and bam! 3.22 branch k02 if you're first time here you have no idea what's going on you might want to check out the playlist below and uh, well if you're excited about seeing what this dungeon thing is all about then welcome welcome sit back relax enjoy and of course if you like what you see do not forget to like and subscribe and let's jump in all right so this wonderful game so press the dungeon boss um am i strong enough i hope so Let's see, let's see. <laughs> so, oh, right, everyone goes into the dungeon, right? I wonder if I can still level them up during the dungeon. So we got a level 35, the one who grips Faust, level 35, cleanup agent, Mersault, we corpse L2, and then 25, 25, it'll be fine, right? Dungeons are easy, right? Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, so a lot of story here probably awaits. The branch facility was entered was not as well preserved as the one we had visited in District 4. Well, we can see a lot of uh, people nailing uh, pe other people. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> it seems end corpse inquisitors have been using this place as their base for a while. Various torture devices and bits of flesh and machinery like those we saw in town came into my sight. Yeah, so we are fighting the end corpse uh, inquisitors here, these armored dudes which uh, use nails as their weapons, yeah. <laughs> Tortured prosthesis. <laughs> Cough, Tom Fox. Please stop, it hurts, it hurts so much. Ah, this one speaks of suffering. It must be false cry, pay it no mind. No, the pain, it's real, I swear. Did it not hurt to attach these impurities to your flesh? Did your conscience not scream as you rejected your humanity? Enough, this one is too far gone to repent. Does the absence of tears not say enough? This one's only pretending to confess. No, wait, I can't shed tears, so I beg you, please. Oh, look at this dude. This this dude has like one commendation, this has like three, four. <laughs> this one's clearly higher ranked, right? We can afford to verify, can we not? Mm, indeed, for a genuine effusion of sorrow suggests humanity. Thank you, thank you so much. Now we shall lift your eye. The heretical depravity knows no bounds. They've gone so far as to make vile devices that mimic their tear glands. We must see with our own true eyes that this isn't the case. Oh boy. So they're gonna take the eye out just to confirm that the eye is not a prosthetic. Oof. We need to take these guys down. They're trouble. We will let you go if we can confirm that your eye socket is indeed of flesh and blood. What? No, stop! Huzzah! <laughs> Good job, Rodian. You heretics truly are like pests. Never alone with a habit of constantly obstructing our great task, your kindred creatures indeed. Rodian shrugged when I looked back. What? I want to take, take charge for once. Oh, this is so funny, especially since my, my Rodian actually... <laughs> Uh, my audience like one of them now <laughs> as you will see soon wearing their armor and everything right so how i used to this dungeon is i used to clear everything but i don't think i need to do that so we can like clear faster this time the Inquisitor has transformed this branch facility into a torture chamber for prosthetic users, committing blood-curdling murders. The townsfolk were powerless against such torment. Why can't I... Wait, what? Oh yeah, I need to go back. Oh, that's a confusing thing, isn't it? Oh, if I want to go here... Okay, so everything's the same. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do this one. Enemy info. Well, we don't see anything, so only if you lose, I guess. Oh, wait, there was something. Nope. Right, onwards and forwards. The one who grips <laughs> the Encore of Middlehammer, Rodion. Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm gonna take this one and this one, I guess. Didn't really check the elements, but it probably doesn't matter. Or the sins, as the game calls them. Uh, only three enemies, that's gonna be easy. 
So yeah, how does this game work? For every character you pick one of the two attacks, upper or down. You cannot really change the attacks unless you're fighting a boss or a, a normality. Usually against this easy fights though, I just press this thing here, win rate, and then we just watch the fight unfold. But worry not, we will come to the dungeon boss and things will get a little bit interesting. This is a new attack, the Ironclad Retribution, where she pushes them onto the floor and does nasty things to them. Speaking of nasty things, get executed. Oh, Foss does so much damage. I think we have the appropriate damage type against them, to tell you the truth. You can go hover them real fast to see, actually. And now everyone's staggered, so their damage types will be fatal anyway, yeah. So yeah, just a little bit warm up, I guess. Easier fight than you would get outside of the dungeon, actually. Also, I believe, yeah, you, like, you collect resources and save them up, no? And you lose, like, half of them, like... How does that work? I forgot. You'll be... You're all gotten better at fighting, haven't you? A faint voice calls to us from the corner. Sod? Sod was resting against the wall, exhausted. She was covered in bites and knowings left by the Pekatula. Are you alright? Can you get up easily? Sod could barely talk, let alone stand on her feet. She slowly began to speak, each word filled with pain. Effie, how is she? Alive, yeah? You must have met outside. Well, Effie, yeah, sure, sure, he's fine. Everyone's hesitant to answer Sod's desperate question. No, Effie's dead, by the way. Um, how could any of us inform her of the morbid state Effie was in and how we had put him out of his misery? Yes, he's doing fine now. There we go, Honglu answered quietly. No sinners came forward to elaborate. That's enough chatter. It seems more of those oddities are crawling our way. A swarm of Pekatula approached us. It was as though our guilt about lying to her had gained physical form. Right. Okay, so we can't go forward. We have to go through this one. Okay. So I guess we fight some Pekatula here. Um... We met a dying sword next to the entrance. No one could truthfully answer her desperate question about Effie's status. Right, let's see. Oh, well, we have a good balance of, well, everything but green, though. That's alright. I'm not too cared about green. We don't need green for our OP attack on force, so... Okay, we got some normalities here. So this time we can actually pick who attacks where. But again, these are easy enemies. So I'm just gonna like do that. Gonna go through these easy fights and get to the real deal. I wonder how hard this dungeon will be. Like, I'm, I'm actually expecting it to be a breeze. All except maybe the last boss, we'll see. Although my characters are so powerful now that uh, I'm not really expecting the opposition, much opposition. Fuhu, the side, the winner's side. Yes, Sharon. The winner's side it is. Alright. Yeah, let's not do all the fights. So let's see. Uh, well, we have... We met a dying sword next no one could truthfully answer. Well, I like the idea of going for the... Oh, we have to go here anyway. Wait, why can't I go? Well, I can go here. And I can go here. Okay. Well, let's go for the question mark. I'm very curious. There is a machine in this dilapidated room. A long bulky lever is at the corner of the machine adorned with springs. The urge to pull it is growing stronger and stronger. What will you do? Use the machine. 50% chance for a positive effect. 50% chance for a negative effect. Ching 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 BAM! Putting a spontaneous thought into an action is an impulsive and unhibited as a child reaching for off-limits marshmallows. Damn right it is. When you pull down the lever, a clack follows soon after. The spring begins to turn, some slow, some quick, some clockwise, others counterclockwise. Watching the machines rumble grow wider, you feel anxious. Pull the lever, 50% chance to gain an ego gift, failure results in HP and SP damage. Psh. The machine stopped at last. Hmm, what would you look at that? 
A small wooden chest rose from the floor. You carefully open it and find a bundle of torches. You take the torches out of the room. It's not much, but they should give you momentary relief in the dark. You take the torches out of the room. Torch stack. Start the next three battles with three haste. Expires afterwards. Oh, that's a shame. We don't have it for the full run. Okay, well. Let's go here. Even after several battles, what several battles? Guido still pursued us with a terrifying persistence. We stopped him at last and leaving Sod behind, we proceeded to the next area. Everything was a terrible mess and nobody had energy for words. Well, didn't we like kill Guido? What is this all about? Mm. You see a large gate in the distance. There's something eerie about the pointless fences and stone pointed fences and stone walls. It looked to be the only way through this area, but it's guarded by a large number of inquisitors. Is there anything you can do about them? Strike them from behind, run a pride check, then begin a combat encounter, pass to buff all allies and reduce the number of waves by one. Distract them, run a last check, then begin a combat encounter, pass to reduce the number of waves by two. Confront them directly, begin a combat encounter with all three waves. Um, I'm fine with three waves actually. Let's face them and head on. Oh, I missed a the message there. Whoops, sorry about that. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best. Separating a sinner from our group to attempt some silly trick might end up putting us at disadvantage. Let's face them head on. Oh, that's the text we missed. Okay, cool. Win the battle to gain ego gift. A sign. Alright. Well, I'm not too worried about this. Yeah, I mean, we are not on clock or anything and we just grow powerful as the fight goes on. We're gonna have three waves. Well, the more waves we do, the more damage we get, I guess. So how the dungeons work is, uh, the, any damage the enemies deal to you persists between combats and also any SP you have also persists through combat. So uh, by the time you reach the boss, if you do well, you can get quite powerful, but if you do poorly, then well, you get smacked around. I guess it would depend on how strong your group is, like how well you do or do not do, but... Uh, my group's pretty strong, so we're not too worried about that. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, what is got? Oh, what is got smacked around there? Oof. Oof, indeed. Oh no, Otis! No, no. Okay, time to heal, I guess. Don't <laughs> Look at him go. Why is she going first? Why isn't my thing healing people? Well, I guess we'll have to do it now then. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, it seems like it should have been casted, but it decided not to. That's okay. I mean, I'm still not too worried, though. Am I? Nah. So, uh, this is an HE level ego on, on Faust. Does, like, decent damage, but, like, heals everyone in the group. So, you'll see now the number above everyone's head, so really, really fast. Ah, uh, it's not enough to fully heal up all this, but well, we have to start somewhere, so... Oh yeah, and then you reach these checkpoints, and on these checkpoints you can, like, uh, You fully heal up on checkpoints, so... No problem there. Still, I'm surprised at the amount of damage that Otis got. Look, look 39 health. Oof. That's... It's really, really low. Go, cackle! Cackle maniacally, cackle maniacally. So, Zero Sick and Zero confirmed that the... The... The one who grips that we're gonna be fighting against is not actually forced, which makes me relieved in a way. Because that would be weird, I guess? I heard that familiar yet ominous sound of a nail being dragged across the floor from not too far away. Manager, if I may be forward, I would suggest soon including steps in your combat protocol to confirm that our forces are dead. Yes, I agree. The thought of his return makes what hair I have stand on end. 
Oh really, Gidos back? Don't... How? How? Didn't like Sinclair rip it up into pieces? Oh, he's back, alright. Yeah, heretics. Must be exterminated. Naglenhammer Guido. Well, that's awkward because I called the previous episode Guido's Demise. Um, and yet here he is. How long have you been? Guido approached at a slower gait than before, but his gaze is firmly fixed on me. And the rest shall be purified. I needed to rewind the clock. Most of the sinners were either dead or gravely injured. There was no way an effectively non-combatant manager and someone barely holding on to her life could take him. Please, stop. Just then, Sod pulled out a gun. She pointed the barrel at me. I need you to keep still. The moment you try to turn that clock, my gun will blow off your head. Sod? Don't look at me like that. I can't hear you, but I can tell you this. They promised to let Effie go. If I help to get rid of you. It is that sort. I let too much time pass. Guido comes to me and grabs me by the neck. Uh, uh. Then he grips my head tightly with his other hand as if to crush it. Uh. Creaks, cracks and rattles ring inside my head. He fingers, his fingers, he fingers, his fingers being inches away from shattering my head terrifies me. Is this it? Is this how I die? Could this have turned out differently if I was a better manager? I remember Heathcliff menacingly asking if there was a way to open up my head so he could see what's inside. Though, tough luck Heathcliff, you'll be missing out on a good show. I heard a sound. It was the sound of something breaking. Fortunately for me, it didn't come from my head. Oh, it's Sinclair. <laughs> Guido staggers. A nail was lodged in his back and Sinclair was gasping for air behind him. He was nearly unconscious, lying still until moments ago. It's a miracle that he managed to get up and do this. So this story like sounds like we got really beat up <laughs> so far, but only, uh, only uh, Otis really took any real damage. I could escape Guido's grasp thanks to him. But Guido stood firm despite Sinclair's desperate attack. He collected his breath and slowly turned around. I see. You too are a filthy heretic. You're all insane out of your mind. The one who grips had once said that you could have become the one as well. What a shame. Oh, that's why he has an yeah, a identity called the one who shall grip. Your grip with the wrong direction. Sinclair, run away, I can't help you. No, I'm not running anymore. I like that answer, Sinclair. Gunfire filled my ears, but the bullet struck Guido's head. You who bring ruination upon yourselves, the hammer shall continue to pursue you. With those words, Guido fell to the floor, motionless. And in that hush, I heard her hand got dropped to the floor. So, Effie, he's dead, isn't he? Yep, she figured it out. You're all terrible liars. At least try to make it somewhat believable. Come on, Sod, let's get out of here. You'll be okay. Just gotta stop the bleeding and get you patched up. Right, I'll get a tourniquet. <laughs> Don't be stupid, I can hardly lift a finger. Besides, those inquisitors will keep on coming. One day, you guys need to keep moving down. I'll hold them off here, you should go. You can't, you can't do that. You said yourself that you can hardly lift a finger. I can't let you vouch out our backs when you're in such a mess, please. You know, in moments like this, you're supposed to just nod at me and be on your way. Why do you care so much about the one who volunteered to stay behind? You can't, you can't, you just can't. Ah, oh, you're making this pretty awkward, you know. Yeah. Here, I thought I could have a cool farewell. <laughs> yeah, ruining her cool moment, Sinclair, that's not cool. Ishmael, not cool. Let her be a movie hero, let her do the thing. Faust, please take these absolute dorks out of here. I'll make sure to give Virgilius your regards. No need. 
Just tell him to come visit and say hello someday. You know what I mean. <sighs> On her grave? <laughs> of course. We headed for the next area, leaving Sot to die. We all stayed silent for a long while. Oh, wow. Sinclair's determination to stand up to Cromer after three stones had been drawn. A sign. Right, uh, so we can go to this thing here, Elite Training Quarters. I can hear the sound of something scuffling along the floor. I wondered what that it might it be, but part of me doesn't want to find out. So we can go through here. Corroded Entity Block. Or we can go and find out what here is. You know what, I'm curious. I'm very curious. I can hear the sound. Okay, I want to see what this thing is. A steel door rests on one of the... <clears throat> a steel door rests on one side of the room. It looks too thick to be easily broken or breached with force. There's got to be something totally valuable through here if it's guarded this tight. Yes, I agree. What should you do? Open it with force. Run a rat check. Pass to open a new path on the map. Look around for a solution. Run a slot check. Pass to open a new path to the map. Okay, let's uh, let's look around for a solution. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we do a slot check. So now every person has a different chance to do this. So here is the mark you have to pass. Here is the prediction result once we click on a person. So this one is not slot, so it gets the threshold increased. This one's also not slot, gets the threshold increased. This one's also not slot. Okay. Well, this one is slot, but... Well, actually, it says high. Well, that's because we have no coins on this person. Yeah, maybe we should collect coins on some other people just to increase the chances. I think Otis actually has the highest chance of the success because it's only one coin. And only one coin has to be a success. While with some other people... well. This one has to succeed two coins. No, this one has to succeed. Yes, two coins. What is easier, two out of three or one out of one? I'm gonna say this is probably better, two out of three. Better chances here. Doesn't say the percent, just very high. I mean, most probably it's gonna succeed. We're gonna get all three and that's it, but you know. It would be very unlikely to fail two coins. So yeah, with this one, with this one we would have to fail two coins to fail. And with Otis, we would have to fail only one coin to fail. It is more likely to fail one coin out of one than two out of three, so... That was a good call. After tinkering with something, but each coin has a 95% when you're on full on SP, so it was very unlikely to fail either way. After tinkering with something on the wall, Foss let out a triumphant grunt. Huh? The door was open. Apparently there was a protruding brick next to the door. Faust explained that sliding it back into the place, got the door to open and proceeded through. There was a hidden, hidden path behind the door. Well, that's nice. The selected entity healed for 20 SP. Well, the selected entity already had max SP. There's a new path on the map. Right. So, now we get a new path. Oh, that's beautiful. Blockade zone. Chapel. Right, let's go to the old warehouse, shall we? Forgotten passage. Even after several battles... Yeah, okay. Okay, you know what? I would like to get some SP on other people. We might get wrecked here though, but like... <laughs> this is show how much harder it could get if you have different group of people. Oh, it's these two. Oh, we're gonna get wrecked here, dude. <laughs> and this will take very, very longer as well. Okay, that one didn't really do much damage, did it? Well, was it... Did it heal for a moment there, or am I just going crazy here? Okay, actually, no, let's not do that let's save up the resources yeah, there's no reason to like use the resources so this is how the the, the whole thing would look like if i had my ju just my tier one people and 
Uh, although, you know. Things are kind of happening, albeit slowly. I guess the longer the fight goes, the more resources we get, which uh, will actually be beneficial if we end up in a really hard fight, I guess. Why do they hit so slowly? Like, this whole fight is like so, so slow. Like, is it because my people are low level or what? That it's. Okay, things are starting to happen though. There we go. I think we just had wrong damage types, maybe. I don't know. Oh, this one still has a lot of HP. Oh, it healed. Did it? Yeah, it looked like it healed. We usually got blasted though. Counter, okay. We could have in theory chosen who attacks what and who gets countered or not. But I didn't bother to actually check and you know. There we go. Yeah, I guess you just had really weak damage types. Once we staggered it, it started taking massive amounts of damage, so. There you go. Nice. Good job, Honglu. And Yi Sang. Okay, I know all the names now. That's good. Honglu and Yi Sang. Using certain events expires on use. Old warehouse key. Ooh. We're going to the old warehouse. Let's see what's here. Dozens of old broken crates litter the floor. Ayak, Kopvak. Clearing things away, you found this particularly large crates buried underneath. These are all locked. Looks like the keyholes have the same shape. Alas, the key is of a soft constitution. It won't be feasible to use it again once it has been inserted into a lock. Sounds like you get only one try. Which one you should open? Uh, open the first crate, gain an ego gift that boosts defense. Open the second crate, 50% chance to gain an ego gift that boosts tremor attacks. Open the third crate, 50% chance to gain an ego gift that boosts bleed attacks. Oh, I'm just gonna grab the one which is guaranteed and boosts the the crate contain a worn helm oh this is the proper equipment of a knight is it not uh, is that uh, is that uh, don quixote one sinner excitedly rubs her helm clean not a bad haul all things considered we carry the helm and our sinner infatuated by it and left the room okay defense skill power up plus one that's okay top top helm Right. So there's the there's the checkpoint. What is this thing? A blockade zone. Torture chamber. Fighting off corroded inquisitors, we made our way to the golden bo wait what? Uh did we? <laughs> uh I mean that that must be wrong, no? Right? Okay. So Yi Sang and Gregor are the only ones who still don't have the SP, so let's get them as speed up as well. Let's get them up to speed. Hmm. So I had full intention to like skip as much as I can and shorten this, but uh, my curiosity got the better of me, so it is what it is. Rodion, Rodion, that was, that was nasty, at the girl, and then once we get to the checkpoint, everyone's SP will be get reset back to zero, so I'm not sure why I'm even doing this, but hey, we're doing it, either way. What a pleasure, what a pleasure, looking at this, like, ah. It was all worth it. It was all well worth it. Actually, I got the first like from free to play stuff, and yeah. Once I actually decided to invest into some lunacy in a battle pass, we already had force, so right. Ah, okay. So 
If we went that path, we wouldn't really get anything new. We'll just do a couple of fights, which don't usually drop items, not in this kind of dungeons anyway. I will go to Torture Chamber though to see what's up there. The end corp inquisitors were busy torturing someone. Yeah! A filter scream fills the cramped room. Their victims are people with prosthetic bodies. Sinclair didn't utter a word, but his eyes full of wrath and fear were fixed on the torturees. He breathed heavily at irregular intervals, his body shaking. He looks like he might have changed, charged forth at any moment. Do you stop him or... Nope, I'm not gonna stop him. Wait for the torture to end. Certainly that is this SP. Stop the torture, run a red check, then begin a combat encounter. Use Sinclair for the check to gain a sign. Pass to weaken all enemies. You, we may not be valiant knights yet even casting morals aside we'll have to fight them to move on do you really mean it uh, when you explain your plan to Sinclair he looks back at you with surprise I thought you would stop me he spoke anxiously but he seemed nevertheless happy with the decision got got it I'll do it Sinclair sprinted to where the inquisitors were alongside the other sinners Sinclair healed for 30 SP oh nice now he has a better chance to Don Quixote healed for 10 SP nice and now we have to use the Sinclair. Uh, that's Don Quixote. That's Sinclair. As the sinners approach, the Inquisitors cast their victims aside to charge at us. You bastards! Sinclair stood against them at the forefront, but that hammer might be too big for Sinclair's weapon to stop. Should Sinclair really deal with it, or should you order another sinner to repel the attack? I mean, the odds are very high. We need to pass one of these two that's very likely to happen it's only one 400 it doesn't happen so Sinclair off you go that is Sinclair right so that's either Yisang or Honlu that's Yisang that's Honlu that's Faust that's Don Quixote that's uh, Ryushu that's <laughs> you must be mad so uh, let's see what their comments are. So Honlu says, I feel this will be an idle affair. Then Fo says, my analysis does tell me that this task will be relatively easy. Then Don Quixote says, fear thou not, this is easily within my capabilities. Ryushu says, does it really have to be me when others are right there? And then Mersot says, you must be mad. And Honlu, I think I shall handle this one. And then Gregor might as well, I suppose. And Ishmael, are you serious? Several screws loose? I'm disappointed, don't talk to me. Yeah, very low. The odds are nice, leave it to me. And then, uh, <laughs> after all that, after all that, uh, Sinclair is like, okay, I'll try. And then Otis, the tide is in our favor, please leave it to me. And then Gregor looks like a bit of a bother, but eh, probably doable. Right, I'll send Sinclair, of course. Um, damn, check pass. After all, this is a fight first and foremost. <laughs> Sinclair locked his halberd against the handle of the hammer and parried to the side. With their leader's attack thwarted, the Inquisitors were thrown into this array. We'll be able to keep the flow of the battle in our favor by taking the lead now. Right, nice. Ego gift a sign earned. So these signs that we're collecting here, it seems like they will stack up to something really nice. So our enemies are inflicted with five attack power down. Right, sounds like uh, it will be an easy encounter here. So to battle, to battle. Of course, we'll take him. Why wouldn't we? Well, Otis is a little bit wounded, so. Ryushu, let's go. Yeah, I'm cocky, cocky with you. Oh, they look bigger than usual. Okay. So does like their attack being down even matter since they're not winning any clashes? I wonder. What's that? Question mark with a 5 next to it. A passenger gave them a boink! Yes, indeed she did! <laughs> uh, she... She certainly gave them a boink. 
Foes are all shimmy shaky at chance, isn't it? Uh, let's see, what is that thing? Gain 5 attack power down each turn. Ah, okay, so... Otherwise this would go away, but this one keeps reapplying it. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. If it just gave them 5 down, it would just be for the first turn, but it also gave them a debuff, which keeps reapplying the debuff. Isn't that just wonderful? Woohoo! This side, the winner's side! Yes, we are the winners. We are the champions, my friend. There we go. Gonna kill all these. Actually, they're really, really nasty people there, these cleansers. Like, prosthetics are a useful thing. Yeah, I understand if sometimes people go a little bit too far with them, but I don't know. It's a big discussion. I should play the Sex Human Revolution. Ego Gift Cat. Sinclair's determination to stand up to Cromer after three stokes have been drawn. So we got a second sign now. Mm. I can hear the sound of something scuttling along the floor. I wonder what it might be. Enter the chapel. So this is the checkpoint. Progress got saved. So from this point on, if we lose, we can uh, retry from this point. So yeah, we cleared the first part. Uh, that was pretty nice and easy. We also explored a little bit. Uh, yeah, got some nice stuff. So in the next episode, we're gonna go down. Hopefully enjoyed it. This will probably be a three-part video, a well, three-part journey here. Uh, the dungeon will be. If you're enjoying it, do not forget to like and subscribe. And well, let's hope for some more challenge soon. Have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. And see you in the next episode of Limbus Company. The Niemer signing out. Bye-bye.